years, China reigned supreme over the global battery supply chain, transforming lithium into a geo-economic weapon. With 95% of global LFP battery production concentrated in its hands and an overwhelming dominance in lithium refining, which exceeds 90%, Beijing became virtually irreplaceable. Every electric car that rolled off a Western assembly line essentially carried an invisible Chinese signature. But this hegemony has begun to shake. Elon Musk, with his unpredictable style, seems to have found a loophole, a brilliant, lightweight, recyclable, and 30 times more abundant than lithium, aluminum. Aluminum isn't a newcomer. It already inhabits airplane structures, satellites, transmission lines, and millions of cans scattered around. But now, it's taking on a new role, that of a pivotal player in an energy revolution. The trick lies in its abundance. While lithium depends on a few countries and environmentally aggressive processes, aluminum is found in abundance, including in the United States. There are over 700 million tons ready for use, compared to a mere 22 million tons of lithium. This difference changes everything, including who dictates the rules of the game. By swapping lithium for aluminum, Tesla isn't just seeking a technical alternative, it's aiming for the heart of Chinese dominance. And more than that, it's paving the way for independence. The idea is simple, yet powerful. Using a metal that can be mined locally, with less environmental impact, and at a drastically lower cost. And by eliminating the need for cobalt and nickel, two other elements tightly controlled by Chinese companies, Tesla is quietly dismantling a tripod that supported this empire. It's like removing the legs from a chair without arousing suspicion. But this change isn't happening in a hidden laboratory or in summit meetings. It begins in the guts of the Tesla Model 2, the company's most daring project yet. A car that promises to cost under $20,000 with enough technology to last decades. And to achieve this, it needs a battery that is not only affordable, but also free from the logistical and political constraints that hinder the market today. That's where aluminum comes in full force. Lightweight, cheap, recyclable, and widely available. It's everything lithium can't be. But the choice of this metal goes beyond technical issues. It has a symbolic and strategic component. It's as if Elon Musk were saying, without saying a word, that he's no longer willing to depend on a chain that could collapse with a trade war, a pandemic, or an arbitrary decision by a superpower. Instead of going with the flow, Tesla decided to dig its own riverbed. And this changes the course of everyone following. Automakers, governments, suppliers, all will be forced to rethink their strategies. This change affects not only the final product, but the entire production chain. Extraction, refining, transportation, assembly, each step becomes simpler and cheaper. Battery manufacturing costs, for example, can drop by up to 52% with the use of aluminum, a figure that scares any competitor and excites any investor. And when it comes to large-scale production, these savings translate into billions. Not to mention the environmental benefits, something that regulators, especially in Europe, are increasingly monitoring. Little by little, what seemed like a technical move begins to reveal itself as a sophisticated geopolitical plan. And the curious thing is that China, with all its power, could end up cornered without a single shot. After all, its empire was built on scarce materials, cumbersome processes, and a model of dependence. Tesla, by choosing aluminum, simply chose a different path, lighter, cleaner, and freer. A path that threatens not only the profits of Chinese companies, but the entire logic of the battery market. This movement not only marks the beginning of a new technological phase, it triggers a silent alarm in Beijing. Because, for the first time in a long time, the West's energy future can be decided without the need for its mines, refineries, or subsidies. Tesla, with a single metal, is bringing down a castle carefully built over decades and the world is watching. Only this time, not as a hostage, 
but as a protagonist. If aluminum represents freedom, efficiency is the engine that will accelerate this historic shift. And this is where things get even more interesting. Aluminum ion batteries aren't just a material change. They're a complete transformation of electric vehicle performance. The first difference immediately stands out. Recharge time. While lithium ion batteries still require 30 to 40 minutes at superchargers to reach 80%, the new aluminum based model can achieve full charges in less than 10 minutes. This completely changes the user experience and removes one of the biggest mental barriers to switching to an electric car. The secret to this speed lies in the battery's internal structure. Because aluminum carries three electrons per ion instead of just one, like lithium, it allows for a more intense movement of energy within the cell. This means that, instead of pumping energy like a dropper, the system operates like a tap turned on full blast. This current density makes possible something that seemed like science fiction, charging the entire car in the time it takes to drink a cup of coffee. What's more, without overheating, without the risk of fire, and without damaging the battery's structure, which, let's face it, is quite a feat. And it doesn't stop there. While lithium faces constant challenges with degradation over time, reducing battery capacity after just a few years of use, aluminum emerges as a true marathon runner. In laboratory tests, these new batteries achieved more than 15,000 charge cycles while maintaining more than 90% of their original capacity. To put this in perspective, we're talking about a car that can drive more than 1 million kilometers without needing to replace the battery. That's not just durability. It's longevity in the most radical sense of the word. Safety also takes a giant leap forward with this new technology. Lithium batteries, however advanced, still face the threat of thermal runaway, a phenomenon that can lead to spontaneous combustion. Aluminum batteries, on the other hand, are naturally stable, even at extreme temperatures, ranging from 50 degrees C to 150 degrees, without any risk of explosion. It's the kind of thing that changes the conversation in a garage, a closed parking lot, or a deserted road. A relief, especially for those with children, pets, or simply looking to sleep soundly. Another important point is weight. Aluminum ion batteries are about 65% lighter than lithium ion batteries. It may seem like a technical detail, but this directly affects the car's performance. Less weight means more agile acceleration, lower energy consumption per kilometer, and, as a bonus, less wear on the tires and suspension system. In short, more efficiency with less effort not to mention the ecological footprint, which also shrinks with this reduction in mass. Now imagine combining this lightness with fast charging and thermal resistance. The result is an electric car that handles like a sports car, consumes fuel like an electric bike, and requires so little maintenance that it starts to feel like a household appliance. Plug in, use, charge, and that's it. This ease of use may seem obvious, but it's exactly what's needed to break down the resistance of even the most skeptical audience. Tesla knows this, and that's why it's investing heavily in this complete innovation package. But perhaps the most revolutionary element of all is recyclability. Unlike lithium, which requires toxic and expensive processes to be reused, aluminum can be recycled indefinitely without loss of performance. We're talking about 95% total reuse. This enables a true circular economy, where old batteries become new with very low environmental impact and reduced cost. A vision of the future that combines sustainability and financial viability unlike anything seen before in the automotive industry. And it's this combination of factors, speed, safety, durability, lightness, and recyclability that makes this quiet revolution impossible to ignore. This isn't an incremental improvement, the kind that appears in releases and disappears in the next update. We're talking about a breakthrough, a paradigm shift 
that could literally render the most modern models that still rely on lithium obsolete. And this breakthrough already has a name, date, and address. Model 2, 2026, Aluminum. With such a robust technological foundation, Tesla is beginning to design what could be the world's first truly popular electric car. Not a cheap model in the sense of compromising quality or performance, but an affordable, efficient, and durable vehicle capable of competing head-to-head -head with any combustion engine car and winning. The Model 2 promises to sell for around $17,000, a price that, even by North American standards, represents a true departure from industry norms. For many, this will be their first Tesla. Not for status reasons, but because it will finally fit in their budget. And the secret behind this aggressive price lies in the aluminum ion batteries. With a manufacturing cost up to 75% lower, this component is no longer a budget breaker and is becoming the engine of the democratization of electric cars. Instead of spending $15,000 on a lithium-ion battery pack, Tesla estimates spending around $3,150 on the new model. This difference isn't just a savings, it's the turning point that allows us to see Teslas on the streets of working-class neighborhoods, in rural cities, among college students and retirees. Technology finally meets the people. The impact of this change goes beyond the sticker price. With 10x faster production using a simplified structure, Tesla will be able to scale the Model 2 at an unprecedented industrial pace. Fewer parts, less complexity, fewer bottlenecks. This means less time between idea and delivery, and more units available to meet pent-up global demand. After all, how many people do you know who wanted an electric car, but gave up when they saw the final price at the dealership? That barrier is about to disappear. But the Model 2 won't just be affordable, it'll also be impressive. The new battery will allow for full recharges in under 10 minutes, extended range, and virtually no performance loss over the years. What's more, maintenance tends to be minimal. No constant fluid changes, no exhaust system, no complex transmission. The experience of owning a Tesla ceases to be a technological luxury and becomes a practical, almost logical choice, an option that makes sense in both the short and long term. Now imagine a low-income family that for decades only had access to used, outdated, and gas-guzzling cars. With the Model 2, that same family will be able to drive a clean, modern, connected car with lower operating costs than any gasoline-powered model. It's a silent paradigm shift, but one with profound effects on urban mobility, rural transportation, and even the way people approach work and leisure. Because when the cost of transportation drops, possibilities expand. Tesla also knows that low price alone doesn't guarantee success. That's why the Model 2 will come equipped with the best in software, connectivity, and integration with the company's ecosystem. It won't be a reduced Tesla, but rather an optimized Tesla. Lean where it can be, smart where it needs to be. And that means maintaining access to autopilot, Wi-Fi updates, a remote management app, and integration with the company's ultra-fast charging system. In other words, it won't just be a car, it'll be a platform. This new positioning places Tesla at a clear strategic crossroads. Either it leads the next revolution with an affordable model, or it will see competitors like BYD and GM occupy this space. Elon Musk chose the riskier, but also the most promising path. And by placing the Model 2 as the protagonist, Tesla signals that it doesn't just want to dominate the premium market. It wants to occupy every possible segment, from the top to the bottom of the pyramid. And this will only be possible with complete confidence in the new aluminum battery. It's curious to think that the most underrated part of a car, the battery, has become the pillar of a new economy on wheels. And now, with aluminum chemistry at its core, it can do what the combustion engine never could, unite performance, low cost, sustainability, and global scale in a single package. The Model 2 is more than a new car. It's a symbol of a new era, of a new possibility, 
of a new audience that, until now, only watched from afar. Now, that audience is about to take the wheel. To make this possible, Tesla didn't just rely on aggressive numbers or marketing slogans. It went straight to the root of the problem, battery design. The aluminum ion cells that will power the Model 2, two, are completely different from what's seen in electric vehicles today. They're not cylindrical like Tesla's famous 4680, but follow the soft pack format, a flexible, lighter structure that takes up less space and allows for new ways of organizing the car. This opens up a whole range of possibilities for designers and engineers to completely rethink the vehicle's interior layout. And it doesn't stop there. These cells are composed of self-healing electrodes. A complicated name, but the concept is ingenious. The battery's internal materials are capable of healing themselves, realigning their atomic structure after each charge and discharge cycle. This prevents the formation of microcracks, which, in the case of lithium batteries, are the main cause of capacity loss over time. Instead of degrading, these batteries practically renew themselves, meaning longer lifespan and fewer component replacements over the years. Another technical point that seems discreet but is essential is the use of ionic liquid electrolytes, which are stable and non-flammable. This detail virtually eliminates the risk of fire, even in extreme situations such as collisions, sub-zero temperatures, or overheating. The result is a battery that is inherently safe, not dependent on layers of electronic protection systems. For the average consumer, this represents peace of mind. For engineers, it represents freedom to design simpler, lighter, and more efficient cars. The recycling of these batteries is also a strategic differentiator. Instead of relying on expensive and polluting methods, as with lithium, Tesla relies on a dry recycling process that separates the materials using pressure, vibration, and magnetic fields. No acids or scalding temperatures are used. This method reduces recycling costs by up to 40% and generates zero toxic waste. It's an approach that transforms environmental responsibility into economic advantage, something governments and investors are increasingly valuing. The intelligence of the new batteries is also impressive. They're organized into independent microcells, capable of activating only the necessary blocks during use. If you're driving two blocks to the bakery, only a fraction of the battery is activated. Heading out on the highway? Energy distribution is dynamic, adjusting to the terrain, the car's weight, and even your driving style. This system reduces internal wear, improves range, and even allows partial operation if a cell fails. It's like having a battery with a brain. This modularity also allows for unprecedented flexibility in pack installation. Since there's no limit to cylindrical shapes, the cells can be distributed under the floor, inside the doors, or behind the panels, optimizing the car's interior space and improving its center of gravity. This results in more stable, quieter vehicles with more usable space for passengers and cargo. All this without having to reinvent the external structure, a true revolution hidden under the hood. And behind all this innovation lies a strategic objective, to grant Tesla complete autonomy over its production chain. By eliminating lithium, the company not only cuts costs, it also avoids sanctions, tariffs, logistical bottlenecks, and political risks associated with mining in unstable areas. This translates into predictability, something increasingly rare in times of global tension.